Hi, this is Ravina Tandon and you are watching BollywoodHangama.com. I believe you've, you've worked with Amir in uh, um, Andaz Apna Apna and I think you guys had a lot of fun in terms of, I think uh, you've, you've mentioned something we that he still, that still does a lot of pranks. Together. Yeah. We were doing Time Machine, we were doing Parampara and we were doing uh, Andaz Apna Apna together. Right. So at the time when Amir would do only one film at a time, we were doing three films together. Right. So every morning we would shoot pe aate the and we would look at each other, again you? You again? Again on this set? You know, so we would be like that, we tease each other like that. Right. And I think uh, during the, the picturization of El Elo Elo, I think uh, he, he did some, some pranks. Throughout the film, we were all playing pranks on each other. It was a lot of fun. And still, I think, uh, I think you, you've said somewhere that even now when uh, you guys meet for um, uh, your screenings, his screenings, because a lot of his movies are being distributed by your husband, yes. uh, he still has those, those pranks coming up. And I think you've mentioned somewhere that the good thing is that some people don't change and it's for the better. Yeah, that is true. Mm -hmm. Amir still has that uh, naughtiness in his eyes, you know, he crinkles his eyes and he's like, achha, 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 achha. Right. you know, he still has that thing going, which is really, really good. So somewhere he's not lost that boy's charm in him, you know, that child in him, that mischievous child in him is still very much there, which right. is fabulous. Great. And uh, amongst all your movies so far, uh, what has been your personal uh, most satisfying work? Sat Satta, you got a national award I think award Satta for. and Ax. No, I got my national award for Daman. Right, right, right. That was because it was a movie also, uh, I think that was one of the first movies which was against violence against women. You right, know? right. And it was quite a trend setter because that was the first time I think where a woman actually picks up a Trishul and kills her own husband. Hmm. Up till then there were movies in the 80s and 90s where Mera Pati Sirf Mera Devta type, you know. First time when they actually showed a woman killing her own husband for, you know, the sake of uh, her, her children. It was great working in Daman. Uh, but uh, more powerful so I felt uh, when I did Madhur Satta, uh, that was a very, very powerful role and uh, satisfying though I think uh, Ax and Kshatriya and all these films that I did, I really enjoyed myself. Ax, yes, yeah, Kshatriya as well. Right, and I believe um, uh, you're supposed to, you, you, you had signed three films with, with Shah Rukh, but I think only Zamana, uh, uh, I think… Zamana Darmid Diwana took off, yes, unfortunately. Sometimes things just happen. Yeah, and even English Babu, Babu Desi made Yeah, that was another film that I left because I was not comfortable with the costumes. Right. So, uh, that was another film that I left. And uh, then we also shot for a film called Jadu, which had again excellent music. But unfortunately, the director expired and I don't know, it just went haywire. And that is a film, actually, Shah Rukh and me, whenever we meet, we speak about that film Jadu, we say, Arey, yaar, if that film would have released, you know, at that time it was a complete knockout because the music was just phenomenal of that film. Right. And Time Machine sh must have been like a really, I think, uh, interesting project time as well. Time Machine was very interesting, but I think there were problems between everybody over there and I don't know why that film got shelved, hmm. uh, but it did. And we had actually shot also quite a bit for it. But I don't know what went wrong with that film at that time. You do you regret not doing a dar because I think no, it has now, now become like a I believe if I changed anything, the way my destiny has shaped, the path that my destiny took, right. good, bad, professional, personal, setbacks, upsets, breakups, whatever, I wouldn't have reached where I am today. And I'm very thankful and happy to God that I am at the stage in my life, my career, like you said, people still, you know, appreciate what I do. Uh, I have a great family, a very supportive husband, great kids, my mm. in-laws, my parents. I don't think I could have, anyone could have asked for more. Fantastic. Uh, Ma'am, we've taken a few questions from your fans as well. Uh, so, let's take a few of them. This is Rahul from Delhi. Any experience you'd like to share with us from Bombay Velvet with Ranbir? Nothing, no other experience. It's just that when I went on set and when he was there, so yeah. uh, we would all keep sitting and talking and I would keep telling him that uh, Oh, you know, I saw you when you were very small and you were a baby and this and that and all. Then again, after like two days or three days, I'd meet him and I, again, everyone would be sitting and I was like, because I could not get over the fact that this is grown man whom I've seen as a baby, you know. Okay. So, he was like, yes, ma'am, but even you were eight or nine years old. Hmm. I said, yes, I remember that. I said, but you know, I saw you as a baby. He said, will you stop saying that <laughs> all the time? So, he was like, can you just stop saying that? I said, yeah, I'm saying the same story again and again. Okay. So, yeah, that was fun. Hi, this is Faridun Sharyar. For the most interesting celebrity interviews, do subscribe to Bollywood Hangama. Keep on watching.